Hey, this is Cine Spirit here. Today we're going to do an armor free tutorial focusing on creating a dedicated server. This will require you to have Windows and a Windows PC as well as a Windows server unless you want to use just your Windows PC which you can. The requirements will really be pretty much the same that you need for running an armor game. Maybe a little bit more for more performance with extra players but you should be fine with just the armor free requirements. So let's get on to it and let's get in. So I'm now on my server PC and with this we're going to want to download one key file and that file is going to be Steam CMD. I'll provide the link in the description. This file has the server side of Steam which is for a console which you um, will use to install the server software for Armour Free. So let's say you've downloaded it from the link. We've got the Steam CMD zip file here. Open that up. Uh, you'll have the steam cmd.exe. You want to create a folder called the folder steam servers. servers. There you go. Place that file inside of the folder steam servers. Click on the file. And what you'll see now is steam installing within this file. So what you're going to do is log into your account, which has armor purchased on it. I think post 2020, you can create a server and play the game via the same account. Before, I think you had to have two separate accounts uh, to do it this way. So what we're going to do is type in login. And then we're gonna type in your username. your password. Uh, with your password it's going to ask you for a Steam Guard code. Type this in once you receive it. After you've input the Steam Guard code you should be logged in. Uh, it will come up with a firewall exception so click accept and then you'll be inside Steam. Now what we're going to do is install the actual Armour server client. Uh, to do this we're going to type in app update then we're going to type in the code that represents Armour Free Dedicated Server. And this will be 233-780. Oops. And then we're going to type in validate. With that, press enter. And now it's going to be installing this uh, Armour Free Server inside of the, the Steam Server CMD folder. Uh, like how the client's installed, where it'll install it into Steam Updates or Steam Apps and then Armour Free. Now Armour should be installed after it says Success App Code fully installed. It's now installed. Type in Exit. So now go into your Steam servers and you'll have all your Steam server um, applications there. Next you'll want to go to Steam Apps, Common, Armour Free Server. And here you have all your server files, everything, including all your um, add-on files such as Jets, you know, all the DLC that's come out. And here are your server launchers. So without any um, information currently to provide the servers, they'll just launch basic. But what you're, what you're going to need to download after this is TD, TDAST, uh, which can be found online in the description below. Download TDAST, then go to your downloads and you'll see the Tofi Armor dedicated server tool. Click on that, extract this file to your desktop, exit, we can exit here, open it and you'll see this application here. And the README, you can read the README if you want, but for now we're just going to Steam servers, uh, go to where you installed the Armour Free Server, Common Armour Free Server, and just drag this in here. Right, now that's installed, that's how you install it. Open it up, and you'll be opened up with this. This is similar to my previous tutorial that I made about seven years ago. Um, with It's pretty much not changed actually, think about it. And it worked for Armour 2 and it works for Armour 3. 
So name your server. I'm just going to call mine for noobs. Give it a password. I don't know, one, two, three. Someone has to do to log in. Now, if you want to create yourself as an admin, give yourself an admin password. So that'll be one, two, three, four. You know, basic password. Um, I'd always collect consistent, persistent battlefield so that if anyone leaves, you still, the server's still running if everyone's gone. Um, this is just where you can get all your logging files for your server. I mean, you can set these up if you're doing it in just a you know, basic way for your friends. There's really no point um, uh, unless you really want to. Uh, it's about the quality over the net. But the main one you want to focus on is the server file. So this one you want to click here and pick those server files that we were talking about earlier. So I'm going to pick the Armour Free Server X64. And then this will allow you to launch um, the, the server file using this, this tool. I mean, in general, this tool can be substituted by using a notepad and a config.txt to configure the whole of um, the Armour Free Server for what you want. However, I personally find that this is a lot easier, more intuitive, um, and just easy for anyone who just requires to do this as quickly as possible. Um, so if we go onto the tabs at the top, you've got the rules. So if you want voting enabled, you know, battle eye, kick anything, uh, missions. So this is where we're going to install some missions, and I'll show you how to do it in a second. Same with mods. So this is just giving your mods, which are really your DLC. So you've got jets. So I would enable all of these. Um, so if we just click all, uh, difficulty, any specifics on difficulty, performance. If you want to change your performance, maybe it's not running as well on your PC. So the next thing you need to know is port forwarding. Um, I won't cover this in this, port, um, this tutorial, but really what you need to do, if you guys know it, is port forward 2302 UDP TCP for the IP of your machine. So after this, you want to go down to launch and you want to see if it's working. So if you want to launch it, So here you go. It will say dedicated host created. Um, you will wait a little bit and it will come up with some corrections. So here we are, you want to allow access to armor free, game port 203, 203 host identity created. So we don't want to check on armor free as of yet if it's um, working because we haven't had any maps to it. So really it's just, uh, it's a blank server at the moment. So we're going to go into loading up maps. Exit the server that you've created and now we're going to install some maps. So you go on missions here, keep that open there. And the missions are going to be installed in the MP missions folder. So to do this, we're going to go to the PC we're running Armour Free on. So let's go to where Armour Free, the documents in Armour Free. And this is where your map's going to be kept for any maps you've downloaded from the workshop. So to do that, we're going to go to PC, documents, Armor free, saved, and MP missions. You can have oh, MP missions there. Sometimes it'll be MP for missions if you just go into Steam. Um, here we go is a, a map that I downloaded and played um, on my Armor free client. Once you um, download something from uh, the Steam Workshop, you want to play it on your Armor free um, application on your main PC. Play that through and then the map will appear. You have to play the whole thing, you just have to select it. Your map will appear in the Steam documents of Armor Free. So you go there and then this is your map file. This is the file that you want to place inside your, uh, inside your dedicated server here. So to install the map files, we're going to have to download something called PBO Extractor. This will change these PBO files into a folder um, so it will extract the data from this PBO, what's inside there, into a folder which um, your Arva free server tool can use. Um, to do this, let's go down to Downloads. Um, download PBO Manager, that's in the description. Um, open it. You've got one of two, just install the first one. Open that up. And then you'll have this here, which you can drag to the desktop. Uh, just delete both of these because you now got them installed. Uh, 
click install. I've already got it installed, so I don't really need to install it again, but just go through the basic setup, um, which is for any application you're installing. Once you've finished, you know, uh, once it's finished, close it. You can delete that. And then what you should see is you should go back to um, the original place where you had your original mission folder for your Arma 3 game. You want to copy the PBO file, copy to the desktop. And what you'll see is you'll have the PBO look like this sort of file type. This is a PBO extractor um, application. So if you click that open, you can see here the PBO file ex um, extractor will open like this. You click on the drop down, you can get an idea of what's inside that PBO file, mission files, uh, images, everything like that. This will help you if you want to edit your missions you download, you can do that here. Uh, to extract the file, we want to go to right click and then go to extract to SP whatever folder, whatever the name of your mission is. This will extract it to a folder next to your game, uh, your mission. So here's the mission folder that you require. So we can go out of downloads now, we can go out of the PBO folder um, and let's go to Steam servers, uh, Steam apps, common arm free server and then we're heading to MP missions and then we can drag this into MP missions um, and that will be your mission file then we go onto the armor server tool click refresh and here we go here's the mission click yes and now we've got a mission added to our um, our server now we're going to go and add let's say a couple of mods maybe you have certain mods CBA um, maybe I don't know, I have something called Blast Core Mod, which we're going to be adding um, to here. Uh, and these things can be added. So let's say if you're client side and you have, you, if you're on your client, you have um, some mods you want to use on your server, this will work coherently. So to do this, we're going to go to where we've installed our uh, mods on our client. So where we install mods is instead of going to documents, you're going to go to where you've installed your game so I've installed mine on uh, another drive go into steam library or program files steam apps common armor free and then you should say uh, see a document called a uh, folder should I say exclamation workshop click on that and you'll see all your armor add-ons this used to be where they were added on um, they were placed in this folder but they've changed that and put it to the workshop because it's through workshop so while it looks like a shortcut folder, it actually is the actual folder. So I'm going to add Blast Core just because it's, it's small. You know, copying from my server machine can take a while, especially if it's big, like CBA is huge. Um, so let's copy that over to the server files, the uh, server machine. Go back to Armor Free Server, and in here is where you want to place your mods, kind of like how we used to do it with um, before with mods from Armaholic. You want to paste those in, click paste, wait for that to transfer, and we are in. Here we go, here's a mod added to the system, and we can go to mods, which we're already on, click refresh, and there we go. We've got Blast Core edited standalone edition. We can add that to our server, and then we're all good. Uh, so why don't we go and test these out in the actual game? Um, uh, first, we have to launch the server. Okay, so that's created. Now let's go into the game, see if we can find our server on Armor Free, and join it, and you'll see a, a better improvement in terms of stability and usability instead of creating an armor free server on your client PC. So let's go into armor free. So we're in armor free, go to multiplayer, server browser, and in your filter, you wanna type the name of your server. I've typed in host for noobs. Let's click okay. So for noobs has appeared. Click on that. You wanna log in. Our password was one, two, three. Now we're in. It's in the setup stage uh, as no one's logged in yet. Nothing's been set up. So we want to log in as admin, as we put in earlier, the admin details. We want to select the forward slash key, which opens the group channel. We want to type in hashtag. 
login one two three four and now we're logged in as admin and that means usually we'll be able to change any settings add um, uh, and then add anything specific that we want changed in the map or the server itself there's a list of these which I'll put in the description of different things that you can do uh, so let's say if we just want to click yep let's go so we're in let's continue now you're in uh, up and running and everything should be fine it should play a lot better because you won't have as much um, going on in the background as you did earlier um, if you hosted it on your own PC but everything else seems to be fine so that's how you uh, create um, a multiplayer dedicated multiplayer server for Armour 3 uh, and I hope this is helpful for everyone please like and share and if you want to comment on any details below please do uh, and I'll see you in the next video Thank you.